My name is Javier Bhatt. I'm a senior staff solutions architect here at VMware. In this short demo video, we'll showcase a new integration between VMware SD-WAN and Virtual WAN. In this demo, we have deployed two VMware SD-WAN edges in cluster mode inside a virtual hub. These edges can be deployed using a managed application that's available on Azure portal today in preview mode. Using this app, customers can automate the deployment and activation of SD-1 edges in a vHub. Once these edges are deployed, they build a BGP neighborship with Azure Route Service to exchange routes dynamically. We also have two branch locations, one with LTE and second with the broadband internet connectivity. These branch locations automatically connect to edges in vHub via ST1 overlay, thus extending our DMPO capabilities right into the Azure cloud. To demonstrate a connectivity, we have a user behind branch one trying to access a web server in Azure vNet that's peered with the vWAN. And to provide that extra security, we have inserted an Azure firewall in the traffic path. Now let's jump into a demo. We are now on the VMware SD WAN orchestrator. We can see we have a branch one with LTE connectivity, a branch two with the broadband Ryzen connectivity, and other two are the VMware SD WAN edges that are deployed in vHub connected via Azure Cloud. Now let's see, uh, you know, do we have a BGP neighborship with Azure Route Service? If you look here, all of those edges deployed in vHub, they have BGP neighborship up, and we are learning four prefixes from the Azure Route Service. Let's go back to uh, the overview and look into the branch one. So the branch one, let's see how many paths it has. It's connected to three SD-WAN peers, and one of them is a VMware SD-WAN edge in a vHub. If we click on it, we can see the path name that is connected from LTE connection to the Azure Cloud. And these are the path statistics. Look at the sources. So this shows there is a one user that's sitting behind this branch accessing multiple applications. If we look into the destination of that branch, we can see that it's one of the application is accessing is a, is a web server ten, sitting on 10.6.04 on Azure VNet. So let's see if there are any active flows right now from that user to that web server. Let's jump over to the remote diagnostics of branch one and list the active flows on that branch one. We can see that uh, we have three flows. One is TCP port 80, uh, and then another one is uh, you know SSH connection. And to see that if these flows also hit uh, Azure Firewall, let's go into Azure Portal and see if the Azure Firewall sees this traffic. Let's go in here and run that command again and collect all the firewall logs for that uh, virtual WAN hub firewall. So we can see that firewall is also seeing the same traffic and SSH traffic is getting denied because that's the policy on the firewall and the port 80 traffic is getting allowed but that's, you know, that's what's configured on the firewall. So this concludes our demo. To find out more about this solution, please reach out to us at stvan.vmware.com slash partner slash Microsoft. Thank you.